Hi, this is Steve Strickland with Camtech Engineering, and today for Mastercam Monday, I'm going to cover an enhancement in Mastercam 2020 that allows for the specification of multiple air regions. In previous versions of Mastercam, we were only able to specify a single air region, which didn't allow us to fully inform Mastercam as to all the detail regarding the area we were machining. This enhancement allows us to better inform the Mastercam algorithms to aid in producing a more efficient toolpath. Now let's jump in and take a closer look at how to use multiple air regions. To illustrate multiple air regions, we're going to use the same part as we used a few weeks back and focus in on this area here. And the first thing I want to do is set up a dynamic mill operation and set my machining regions using the face selection method. So now that I have my face selected, let's go in and preview the chains. And in the chain preview, you can see the red area is the area that I want to machine, and the yellow signifies the area of the tool containment where the tool is not going to go outside of. Now, I want to note on this particular feature, we see an open area here on the right side, the bottom and left side of this. And what I want to do is I want to inform Mastercam of these areas so that when it goes into machine the areas in red, it can do so in the most efficient manner possible. And I'm going to do so by labeling these as air regions. So let's go ahead and set my air regions. And I'm going to show you two methods on how to do that. One, one is much more manual than the other. So let's start with edges. I'm going to set my first air region here and use the next button to finish it. And I'm going to do my second one starting here and I'm going to go all the way around. So now these two air regions are set, but I'm going to clear that out and show you an easier way to do that on this particular feature. I'm going to go with the open edges button. And now it's going to want me to select a face. And when I select the face again, it's going to automatically find those edges that are open. So very powerful. And that saved me numerous clicks there on setting those two um, air regions. So now let's preview our chains again. And you can see the areas in blue are the areas that the tool is able to move freely in in machining these areas. And so what this is going to do is it's going to allow Mastercam to go in and machine these areas, but do so in the most efficient manner possible. So a very powerful function here in Mastercam 2020. So let's go ahead and set up a tool path and I'm going to select the defaults here. And we can see clearly the areas that were marked in red are being machined out, but you can see the tool moving, moving freely out here in the, the regions that I marked as air. So that's going to allow that material to be cleaned away in the most efficient manner possible. So there again, a very powerful feature in Mastercam 2020. And if we recall from 2019 back on this particular feature, we would have only been able to do to mark one of these regions as an air region in this operation. So this is going to close out today's Mastercam Monday on multiple air regions. I hope you found this new feature for Mastercam 2020 useful and can directly apply it to your programming. Please make sure to tune in every Monday as we continue to work our way through the Mastercam 2020 release. Thank you and see you next time.